Today we're making Halloween guacamole. Now this is a recipe that I made 11 years ago and I thought it would be time to bring it back to all of you, bring it to the forefront. It's a great recipe, the guacamole is excellent. And today I'm doing it with a Halloween theme. We're gonna put these into individual servings and it's great for adults or kid party, whatever you wanna do. Healthy for kids, fun for adults. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. Okay, so here's chef joke number one. Number two will be a little bit later in the video, so stay tuned for that. All right, so what was Elvis Presley's favorite Mexican snack? The jailhouse squawk. So here's the ingredients I'm using to decorate. Some blue corn tortilla chips. I have a red bell pepper, canned sliced olives, canned black beans, some shredded carrots, and some provolone cheese. Okay, so we're gonna start off making our fantastic guacamole. So we're gonna start off by cutting up some onion. I'm using a yellow onion here, and I'm, I'm just gonna slice it up really small to begin with. That way there's less chopping later on. It just makes it so much easier. I'm using some diced green chilies here. These are mild. Feel free to use you know, jalapenos if you like to add a little heat to this. Sometimes I like to add a little hot sauce. Do whatever you like. You wanna keep it for kids, make it nice and mild. Uh, then we have some tomatoes I'm using. So you wanna get your proportions right. So for example, uh, if you're gonna make say two avocados worth of guacamole, you never would do that. You'd probably make four or five, but let's just say two and then you can double it. You wanna use one medium tomato for that amount of avocado. Uh, and then I'd add, you know, some, I just kind of eyeball it, some onion and then some of the green chilies. Then I throw it all together on the board and then I chop it up again, all right? I don't want to make it super fine, but I want it fairly fine. It's still slightly chunky. And then we'll place it into a bowl and then I'll cut the avocados in half. And then I will add the avocado to it and I'd like to remove a lot of the brown spots just because that's just how I have always done it. and then we'll mash it up and you have to add some salt. And feel free to take a little taste too, so you know if you have enough salt in there. Salt is really important. And then the only difference that I made to my recipe compared to the one that was 11 years ago is I never used to add uh, lime juice to it or lemon juice to it to keep it from turning brown. Today I'm gonna to do that just because I'm making these for a Halloween kind of appetizer that sits out. And so I'm gonna add a little bit of lime juice to that. It's totally optional. If you don't wanna do it, don't do it. But if you, you know, you're worried about it turning brown, of course that might make it more interesting for Halloween, right? A little dark guacamole, I don't know. <laughs> but you want it to look appetizing. So add a little bit of lime juice and that'll keep it nice and fresh looking. Okay, so maybe you make your guacamole ahead of time and you wanna keep it in the fridge for a few hours before you actually make it up, let's say. Okay, so put some saran wrap on top of the guacamole and press it onto the guacamole so that you're keeping the air out, basically. And that will also help with keeping it from turning brown. So just do that, put it in the fridge, and then when you're ready to fill your little avocado cups, you're ready to go. All right, it's time for chef joke number two. Here we go. What did the half avocado say to the other half of the avocado? Without you, I'm empty inside. <laughs> All right, so we'll take our guacamole, our delicious guacamole, out of the fridge and give it a little stir. Look at how beautiful that is. All right, we're gonna fill up our shells. Now you wanna mound the guacamole just a little bit, not you know so it's completely flat, but just a little bit of a mound to it. And make sure you fill the cups all the way to the edge. It just looks nicer. Now I like to just take a shell once the shells are filled with guacamole, we can start making our scary faces. So this first one I'm making is a little witch and I'm using the shredded carrots as her hair. And the chip on top, of course, is her hat. So now take a small knife and cut out circles in the cheese to make the eyeballs. Then I cut a third eyeball and cut that one in half to use as sort of eyelids on the eyeball. Okay, so here I'm cutting the black bean in half to make the pupil. Then we'll place our eyeballs right on her face. 
Let me adjust her hair a little bit and then we'll place her nose and mouth on there. So now you can take uh, sliced olives and cut them in half and then trim it a little bit to make eyebrows. Then I took a small piece of carrot and used that as her nose. Then I used a small piece of bell pepper to use for her lips. But then I decided she needed a bigger nose, a nice big crooked nose, so I used a piece of asparagus for that instead of the carrot. So here she is with her big nose. I like it better. What do you think? So here's my next Halloween creature. This is Dracula. And here's our finished Count Dracula. So then I made a cat and a bat. So feel free to get as creative as you want and make any, you know, Halloween figures that you want. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. So that's my guacamole recipe with a Halloween theme. If you'd like to leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Try the recipe. I think you're going to love it. I've got another Halloween treat recipe for you to try if you're interested in something a little different. These are chocolate covered marshmallows, simple to make, kids will love them. I'll leave a link for you right here on the screen. Check it out, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed today's video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, we'll see you next time for another rockin' recipe.